Okay, everybody, it is MC Debbie D, hip hop matriarch, pioneer, and flyologist. I am at Christie's, and what you're looking at is the opening of the auction here where they are auctioning off Cool Herc's memorabilia. And today is the 49th anniversary of hip hop. It is August the 11th, 2000. 22 and i'm going to walk you through this auction so you get an opportunity to see the memorabilia that's on sale it's amazing so let's go okay so the first thing we're going to see here is those tower speakers and also the mixer you see that and then there's a beautiful picture of cool hurt that's, that's got to be in the 70s. And then you see the tower again. And then you get a chance to see some of the pictures of him and his friends on the wall. We're going to come over here. There's some more artwork. All of the artwork that um, these artists did is just amazing. This is by Sonic Bad. Come up here so you can kind of see his name. But it's just amazing. And then we have some of the albums that was in his collection. Some of these are older ones and some of these are from the 80s, of course. You can tell that by looking at Bismarcky and Queen Latifah. But some of them are definitely older. Okay. And you see Cool Herc's name is written on the albums. Then we're going to go up the steps. Hey! <laughs> I'm going to go up these steps and see this amazing picture of Cool Herc, Hade, and Lars. That's so cool. So we have a picture here with the tower speakers you just saw. And then got a little write up here. That there so you can read it if you want to. We're going to come over here. We're going to look at some of his clothing. And this particular sweater here was actually bought from A.J. Lester's. So all of you from Harlem in the Bronx, y'all know about A.J. Lester's back in the day. If you really wanted to come in real fly, that's where you went shopping. We got some pictures of Cool Herc. Then we're going to move over here and see some more records. Okay. More records hanging on the wall. The display is really, really nice. Christie's did an amazing job. I like this is one of my favorite pieces right here. I'm assuming that this is where Cool Herc probably put some of the albums instead of using a milk crate. So that's amazing. The fog machine. Uh-huh, so here it is, whenever they did the parties. This is before even I came in the picture. <laughs> and they were using the fog machine. Some more pictures on the wall. Mainly of Cool Herc at parties. We have Coke Rock, who is considered hip hop's first MC. He's right there. Then we have a chess. Okay, um, here's some other artifacts that they have. Uh, cool Herc. A pair of bongos. Unicycle. One of my favorite bike makers, Swin. <laughs> basketball. Yep, Cool Herc was a basketball player. And then we got some pictures. He has a cool one with the original DJ Clark Kent, who was Cool Herc's DJ for a long time. This is a picture of DST and Cool Herc. And some pictures of Cool Herc here. And another one of him there. Up against the wall. And then we got some flyers. And you know I love me some flyers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have a whole lot of fun with these. The flyerologist at work. These are some of the earliest flyers. Some of these flyers are from the 80s. 
I got my crew right here, DJ Patty Duke and the Jazzy Five. Uh huh. Then we have Flyers of Stafford Place, some of the first places that Cool Herc played at. Some more pictures of people. Okay, here's another outfit that Cool Herc wore. I believe he wore this in Beach Street. Let me pull back just a little bit so you can kind of see. Okay, then we're gonna move over here, see some more flyers. See flyers with JC's name on it, rest in peace to our brother. More flyers, T Connection flyers, flyers with the Herculoids. And y'all know that the Herculoid was first called the name for the sound system, and then it got morphed into the name for the crew. Here's a, um, the script for the movie Beach Street. Here's some more stuff. Bus passes and school tickets and stuff like that. But guess what? Let's look at this. Bam! When cool Hurt came outside. This is some of the earliest equipment that he had. Yes, I'm going to move closer. <laughs> okay, get a chance to see the speakers. The turntables. Okay, this is that GLI mixer. Mm hmm. He turned that thing up, it's over. There's another turntable here. This is how I started. I'm make sure I get that technique on here so y'all can see it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Early sound system. What else we have? Then we have this guy, the Macintosh. Here it is, everybody. Uh huh. I got a lot of information on that right there. Okay, I got some more flyers, early handwritten stuff, parties. More stuff right here. Excuse me. We go back to the Heva Low. There it is. Early handwritten flyers. Yep. There you go. We're going to go into another room. Look at this room. It's amazing. They did such a beautiful, beautiful job. I'm just going to scan the room and I'm just going to go closer. You can see the whole entire. So let's just go ahead and start on this side. These are more pictures. Pictures of Cool Herc. Pictures of friends of Cool Herc. All of these different pictures. This is Cool Herc before he was a DJ. Yeah. Okay, somebody did another piece of artwork. Let's see if I can get a name on that one. I didn't see a name. Then we have the record collection again. Here he is. James Brown. Playing those funky beats. Laying the cornerstone for the funk that came in the hip hop. That's how we grew up some of the songs a lot of it was james brown's records here's another crate one of the first independent record companies for hip-hop was what sugar hill michael jackson of course we all grew up with him on soul train these are more pictures of cool hurt it's a lot of stuff they have awards a lot of the awards that are on the wall that people gave to Cool Herc. Amazing. And then in the showcase, we had more stuff. And 
all of this is on sale online at Christie's. But if you never get a chance to buy anything, you never get a chance to get down here to see it, hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Okay, I'm gonna walk a little bit more. This is what they have on the table, if you kinda wanna just see it. Got that. Seems like a family heirloom, the Campbell family hand crank coffee grinder. This is in their home for many, many years. And we have more flyers. People from the Bronx, you got crews from Harlem, all kind of folk on these flyers. Some of these flyers I've never even seen before. More flyers. And all of this is going up for auction. painting a cool hurt it's really really nice this one is done by Chamacho C-A-M-A-C-H-O forgive me if I pronounce it wrong but it's really nice and we have some of cool hurt's clothing Here we got more flyers because we did so many parties, y'all. Talk to pioneers, they'll tell you we did a whole lot of parties and we did them every weekend. Oh my goodness! And now hip hop celebrating its 49th year. This was this flyer right here was the day I met Wanda D. She played for me and my crew. <laughs> Jazzy Five became the Jazzy Three, and then Debbie D became a soloist. That's how that happened. This is just some more flyers. Birthday bash for Cool Herc. Matter of fact, our birthday is kind of around the same time. Like this this is not a flyer it's actually sort of a flyer but not for a party but I guess this store was kind of selling having a sale but these are all of the kind of sneakers we wore back in the day you can tell that this is an old old flyer and one of the ways you can tell is because when you look at this telephone number right here it doesn't have an area code and back in the day we didn't have area codes in New York City in the 70s so this is an old flyer um, for a store on 149th Street and 3rd Avenue. Oh Lord, I used to go to that train station every day to go to school. So here go some more flyers. A lot of the crews from the Bronx, 
some of the crucial column. There's another battle right here. A lot, a lot of flyers. I guess somebody was trying to draw a cool Herc sound system right here. It's cool. Somebody sound system, but that's a cool of you that are not a pioneer, most of these people are still around. Most of the pioneers are still around. You have more flyers. You can always look us up on social media, YouTube, follow NCWD, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, we got more flyers. Hip hop got built because <laughs> we love what we did and we did it every weekend, every Friday, every Saturday. And then whenever there was a holiday, we did it on Sunday because we didn't have to go to school on Monday. Early 80s and now khakis, the big thing. <laughs> War flyers. Shout out to all of our flyer makers. Buddy Esquire, Phase 2, Cisco Kid. Rest in peace to all of those guys. Straight men, Danny Tong, more clothes to Cooper. I'm trying to think of one more fly. I can't, I can't think of his name right now. Oh God, it's on the tip of my tongue. I like this picture right here. It's gonna come to me before I end. This is a nice picture. It's cool, her with the 
eight ball jacket. Oh my goodness, what is this man's name? Please forgive me. Oh God. I know I'm a pacifier with his name on it. Anthony Riley. That's the name of the guy. So he's body buying everything. <laughs> yeah. Gotta show everybody. Make sure if you can get a chance to see, because once this is sold, it's gone forever. So get a chance to look at Cool Herc's collection. He's an old fly. Jackets that cool her wore. And here's the Beach Street jacket. Only a few of us still have this jacket left. I have mine. And now Cool Herc is putting his up for auction. That's the information here. Beach Street Bomber jacket, 1984. And that's it, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is MC Debbie D, and I'm at Christie's on the 49th anniversary of hip-hop. Love you. Bye-bye.